Thank you. Hi. Hey. I got this from, for, I got, I, Starbucks was closed. And then I said, oh no, I can't just get four shots of espresso with two pumps of vanilla. They said, sure. <laughs> I didn't have to pay for it. Thank you, Starbucks. I'm Nicholas Brendan, and I love Cleveland, Ohio. Are you from Cleveland? Are you Are you born and raised in Cleveland? Wait, shit, we're in Houston. Fuck. I love Houston, Texas. <laughs> so I was in Spain two weeks ago. Just thought you should know that. I, uh, hold on. because I've got a movie called Coherence coming out. So I was, in, I was in Spain for a film festival and I flew out from LA on, fr on Thursday and I flew back on Monday. Don't take a weekend tri trip to Spain. You know what I mean? It's just not, like I'm still, it's like, it's, it fucks with your mind. It's just mm -hmm. weird shit. I'm taking some illicit drugs in my day and that was my yeah. turn. So um, again, I'm Nicholas Brendan and I, I love Biloxi. <laughs> I'm gonna answer some questions. I'm gonna do my best to be as truthful as I possibly can. I will tell some lies from time to time. Um, I will curse, I'll talk about sex, and I'll probably talk about some sort of venereal disease. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in Vegas doesn't necessarily always stay in Vegas. Gonorrhea knows no, no borders. So, do you have any questions? Yeah. Well, how old are you? Sweet. Of course. Come on. Come on, love. Give her a hand. Do you have a girlfriend? Do I have a girlfriend? Do you want to, do you want to go with me? <laughs> Is there a dance or something you want to go to? I mean, strictly platonically, of course. You have to understand this. Do you have a boyfriend? What's his name? Do you have his phone number? Can we call him? No. I have one too. <laughs> it's not like 1985. It's like you know, my mom actually had had the first cell phone ever made, and it was like it was in a box. It was like it was like the nuclear football. And then we also had um, the first car phones ever, you know, and they had like those antennas on, on the back. Oh, shit, I can't tell the story. Hold on, where are you? Are you Papa? Yes. So they've got like the first cell phone ever made. They've got, you know, they've got the car phones and all this stuff like that. And then my mom would always say, like around November. Now, mind you, they've already booked a trip to Acapulco. My mom and dad. They say that Santa Claus had a bad year. That we're not going to get presents. I'm like, well, what about that cell phone? You know, what about Acapulco? Santa Claus had a bad year. <laughs> Do you have any more questions? <laughs> Who says that to their kids? Santa Claus had a bad year. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like my little brother just had his first baby, Christian. So she's going out to, uh, to Oakland to go to, to see him. And I love my mom. You, you, just to understand that right now. But if she's not complaining, she's not living. You know what I mean? So it's kind of one of those things where it's like, you know, she's going out to see Avery, the baby. Siglon, of course, you know, Avalon's cousins are going to be there. 
we booked this six months ago, but I guess that's okay. I'm like, Mom, Jesus Christ, the baby, you know what I mean? <laughs> Santa Claus had a bad year. Mm -hmm. You want to dance or something? <laughs> okay. Well, who do you think? Anya? 
Yeah, I mean, it worked. Then she died. Yeah. I, you know, I just, I, I okay, I'll go with Anya. Uh, you're welcome. I appreciate it. Anytime. Hello. Hi. Um, I was wondering if there's anything that you ever stole from the set or anything that you wish you had stolen. Uh, yeah, I took a uh, story. Okay, so um, when I was a vampire in an episode, um, I got a dress in all black and I wore like the leather. And it was a leather coat from Barney's, which is a fairly nice store. <laughs> and I had it for a couple of years and I wore it everywhere and it was just like a glove, you know? It was like, oh man, I am so happy I stole this coat. <laughs> Then I was in Tennessee, and I left it at a bar. It's one of the reasons why I stopped drinking. <laughs> but it's funny, it doesn't matter how sober I get, I still leave shit everywhere, you know what I mean? <laughs> it just doesn't have to show it. And I left it, I'm like, oh man, I said it was two years in the making, it's like, it was just a free leather coat from Barney's. <laughs> and I'm like, what am I gonna do? I'm so pissed. I was really, really angry. Even though I didn't pay for it, I was really fucking angry. <laughs> so I went to work on Monday and I walked into the wardrobe trailer and I took the other one they had. <laughs> Good choice. I have that coat to this day. Uh, question. The character Sanders really opinionated and kind of set in his ways. Was there ever any veering towards the character, anything he said that you would act like as a person or as an actor? Do you have an example? Um, like, what did you not agree I with? I didn't particularly like how he treated, like, Buffy after he found out about the whole Spike. She was a whore! And it shows him was a whore. Jesus, you know, it's like, hey, you're sorry, you know, God, damn, you know, keep your legs shut from time to time. <laughs> Yes, I remember that very well. How was that? How did you prepare for that? And, I mean, what was that experience like? Because, I mean, I enjoyed watching it all. I, you know, the, I didn't, we just had to do rehearsals for the dance. But in regards to the singing and shit, I didn't, I just went for it. Because I didn't care if I saw. I wasn't hired as a singer or a dancer. It just so happened that I was terrific at it. <laughs> <laughs> but I was just like, I just really enjoy it. I went with it. Um, and it was a challenge. But also, the, the, the first scene that we shot for the musical was the, 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 the Xander and Anya scene. Because Joss, he, I think he wasn't sure if it was going to work either. And then when he, he shot that scene, he knew that it was like, oh shit. That kind of brought back his, his faith in the fact that this is going to be a great episode. So, um, I just, you know, I just showed up to work and you know, we, the, the thing about it was, was that Joss gave us a, D, a CD of, it was of him and, and his wife, Kai. Uh, and Joss was singing at the piano and Kai and Joss were singing, Joss played the piano and, and Kai and Joss were singing the songs. So we had to listen to that CD, like it was our favorite songs ever. We had to know all, you know, know all the lines. So it's just like hearing Joss all the time. Yeah. You know, like it must be witches, be witches. By the way, when, on that shot, when I went up like that, on that thing, it's like, it must be witches, it must be witches, which is, you know, I did, I did that in one take. Because I knew that if I didn't do it in one take, and it's pretty much the block. Because like that, and I'm like, oh shit, I'm hitting, I'm nailing this, you know? And I'm like, let's just do one for safety, and then I couldn't do it. So if I didn't get that first one, it could have been 20 takes. That's the thing that sucks, like when you get in a, you'll just, be, you, you, you could be there for hours doing something. It's really crazy, I got lucky. So I didn't prepare at all. I just I sang in the shower as a kid. <laughs> okay, cool. You're welcome. Hey, you're welcome. Even though you didn't say it. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you're cool. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, sorry in advance for us all. Lights are hot. Yeah. Could you do the Snoopy dance? Oh yeah, I'm gonna do the Snoopy dance at the end. 
so that everyone gets prepared for it. I, I always close the show with the Snoopy dance. Uh, mm. Can you, do you know how to do the Snoopy dance? I do not. You don't? No. Have you seen it before? No. You've not seen the Snoopy dance? Not to my knowledge. No, what? Not to my knowledge, no. So who asked you to come up here and ask me to do the Snoopy dance? <laughs> that one. <laughs> come here, come on. Come here. <laughs> Hi, can you do the Snoopy dance? Have you, do you know what it looks like? So you, so you have seen it before. So when I do it at the end, I'm gonna bring you up and I'm gonna teach you how to do it, okay? All right. Thank you for coming up. thank you. Two part? What is? Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Is there an intermission between part part one and part two? <laughs> sort of. Okay. The second part of follow up. Okay. Uh, what is the weirdest thing you've been asked at one of these? The weirdest thing I've what? Been asked. Been asked? Uh, uh, <laughs> do you want to keep the baby? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm like no. Right. So the second part of that is, may I touch your face? May you touch my penis? Face. <laughs> touch my face? Yes. You want to touch my face? Yes. Come here, touch my face. Right. She pulled out a knife and cuts me. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> That's the second weirdest question I've ever been asked though. <laughs> How you doing, man? Um, in the episode where you had the evil doppelganger, I read that it was your twin. Mm -hmm. So, who got to play the evil Sander? I played both. Oh, did you? Yeah. So, you just I just, so I would just change my clothes a lot. <laughs> like, I was, like, I would be, it depends on which way the, Kelly was just there for the over. Right. Uh, and then there was the scene where we were both on, on, on screen. Uh, but, I played both. <laughs> Alright, thanks, man. I am that good. <laughs> <laughs> Spread the word. Tell your mom. <laughs> mom, I, this actor Nicholas Brendan is so good. Mom. What is your favorite Buffy episode? Is your dad here? Yeah. Where is he? <laughs> Papa. Did I ruin something? <laughs> Did I ruin something? No? Are you sure? Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about? So we're good? By the way, you're awesome. <laughs> what, what, what? what was that? I'm awesome? So you're awesome. <laughs> you want a hug? My favorite Buffy episode was the musical, uh, and then there's the body, and then there's uh, the Zeppo, and then there was, um, oh, hush. Hi. Hi. So, well, Josh Whedon uses a lot of characters, uh, actors a lot for his shows and things like that. So, if you were going to be going to cast you uh, like in a Marvel, or something Marvel related, since he's doing Avengers now, or one of his other shows, what would you like to be? What's your favorite character? I, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but I was actually, I remember season six of Buffy. <laughs> so people know the story. But I was, uh, I got to work and the AD was in the parking lot saying that Joss wants to talk to you. I'm like, oh, look. what did I do? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I'm on time. <laughs> hmm. So then I get there and Joss knocks my door. <laughs> and he's like, I just want you to know that I'm writing a show for you. And it's about a Western in outer space. I, he wrote Captain Tight Pants for me. I was supposed to, I was supposed to be the captain in that. And then season seven came, and Fox wanted the show earlier. So Joss is like, we can't do it. But so uh, I was supposed to be the captain in that, uh, which I, which I think would have made the show awesome. Because <laughs> I'm pretty. Pretty, I'm pretty awesome. I mean, just ask that little girl back there, right? <laughs> I'm awesome, right? There, yes, I am. 
<laughs> um, so, I, the, I don't, because I played Xander, you know, and I auditioned for the part that, 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 that Jay, Jay Agus got in the TV show. We both auditioned for that and Jay got it, the, and the shield. Um, which actually to me, it's, it was kind of, I was when I heard that Jay August got it, I'm like, oh shit, yeah, of course, that makes sense. Um, so I just really, yeah, I played Xander, so it's kind of, like if he calls me and something, he wants me to do something, I'll say, fuck yeah. <laughs> you know? I love that man. Thank you. You're welcome. I, I think I s s sufficiently did not answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nikki, how are you? <laughs> um, did they ever ask you to work on Dr. Horrible? No. No? You would have been good at that. I would have been great. Yeah. Because I'm awesome. Yes. If it was called Dr. Awesome, Dr. awesome, I probably would have been done it. Yes. But it's called Dr. Horrible. Mm -hmm. You need a sequel. Sequel, Dr. Awesome. Yes. Um, can you say my favorite quote for me? What is it? I can guess it. Should I guess what your favorite quote is? No. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a little fear demon? Who's a little what? Fear demon. Fear demon. Who's a little fear demon? <laughs> Who's a little fear demon? Who's a little fear demon? Who's a little fear demon? That's just tacky. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. Um, so, Josh continued the series playing comic book form. Now, Sander and Don and up. Uh, how upset are you that, or would I have felt awkward had y'all continued the series and knowing that maybe you and, or Sander and Don would have uh, had a relationship? Would that have been awkward for you or would that like? Uh, yeah, I think probably had we continued just without, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but then I saw, when I found out that Sander and Don were dating, and Michelle happened to be in like a spread of like FHM or something. And I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm like, cool. Hi, um, I was wondering throughout your career, uh, what's your most memorable moment, scene or? Of my, of my career? Um, I mean, the most memorable was when I booked Buffy, was, was going through, and how quickly it all happened. Um, it's really crazy. So I've been acting for like really three months, and yeah, I mean, I went in on a Thursday, the first time I met Joss on a Thursday in my second audition, and by Monday night I had booked the job, which is just crazy. Uh, they had been like testing, I guess, for a while for the show. Um, so, I would think that getting that phone call from my manager on that Tuesday, I, sorry, I got paged. <laughs> then I had to go to a, uh, a pay phone, put in a quarter, and she, you know, she gave me, you know, 911911, I'm like, and you just know because you're waiting to hear. And they're not going to say 911 because she wants to give you bad news. So like, I just knew, I pulled into the, I, it was actually, I was on my way to Santa Monica, which is where I live now. Um, and I'm like, holy shit. Like something is about, and you just know it's not bad news. But you can't get off the freeway fast enough. So then I call her, and I'm like, hey. And she's from New York, she's like, you got it, you got it. And I'm like, holy shit, what? And I'm like, oh my God, no. So then I go have breakfast and I'm just like, floating. Like everything changed. Like I just knew that everything was just different, for good and bad. I mean, you know, that's it's. I. Um, it's been it's 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 mainly been a been a blessing, but it's also you know I just knew that my life was was going to be different from, from what it had been. Um, and it was yeah. So I think I think that that's kind of like the the pinnacle of it. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the question I'm going to ask you is probably totally random, but in that episode of Buffy where you were on the swim team, did you ever feel uncomfortable or awkward in that speedo? Yeah, you know, 
Yeah. <laughs> I, it's just because yeah. of this, like, like, like my tan lines. You know? Because she said, why not wear shorts? And so it was just, yeah. Would you look good in a speed bar? Thank you very much. Underneath all my clothes. <laughs> I'm naked. <laughs> So you already sort of talked about this, but have there been any opportunities that you haven't gotten because you've been too Xander, if you will? To Xander? Have you been peg Uh Yeah, I mean, I didn't think I would get typecast just because he was like the everyday guy, but it's, it's hard not to because when you're, when you're a part of a show that's so, such a part of the pop culture, um, it's, you know, hard for, I mean, and a lot of people watch, and a lot of people in Hollywood watched it. So, I did get a little pitch hold there, a little bit. And, and when I was in the Kitchen Confidential, it was the first comedy really that I had done uh, since Buffy. And you know, I was, it was neat to kind of find. I still felt a little Xandery, but I think that's just who I am too, as an actor. I mean, because Kevin Lynch, the guy I play on, on, on Criminal Minds, is a lot is a lot Xander. So I just think people kind of just like tend to to hire me for that or write me that way. I, which, listen, I mean, Xander's pretty fucking awesome, am I right? No. So, it's like, yeah, I mean, there was a, like a little bit of that. I think probably, it's so funny because I, I would have this conversation with myself. It's like, of all the people on the show, I'm probably the least likely to be typecast. And as it turned out, I, I, was, I was probably the most typecast, you know, in terms of of, of work after, you know, so, uh, but hey man, I'm fucking happy, you know, I deal with, uh, with, with, with substance abuse shit, but outside of that, you know, it's pretty awesome, pretty awesome, thank you, thank you, which I'm winning by the way, but fuck, it's a bitch, you know what I mean, it's really it. are you Starsky or Hutch? <laughs> Um, I really enjoy Xander because he, I feel that he made the most like changes. Um, how did how did you feel about that, or did you even know that whenever you started playing his role? Or? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, like my favorite. It's 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 hard because um, I remember uh, I'm the uh, bewitch, bothered, and bewildered. It's there was a scene where these girls are saying how nerdy and what a dork Xander was. And I, I was called to set as they were shooting this scene because I was up and it was in like the, um, the hallway of the high school. And so I'm hearing this stuff and I was getting really hurt. Because, you know, it's like, cause it's like this is a character that I'm playing. And I'm like, fuck, I'm just over this. You know? Like, so, it's, so to see him kind of grow, especially after, after the Zeppo. Um, but then he just kind of... I didn't like how it ended with season seven. I think he became a little dark in season seven. I wanted to be funny. But Tom Link was there doing his funny stuff, and I was getting really pissed off. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like I have been here since, like, since, since zero dark thirty. I mean, you know, I was here before <laughs> there was it was a different Willow when I was here. You know, <laughs> and I deserve to leave this show. Blaze is fucking gone, man. I'm being as funny as hell. You know, I just really wanted to kind of go out like that, but you know. Uh, Joss, Joss had other designs. Mm -hmm. Like, I lost an eye. <laughs> I prefer Xander over the ladder. What's that? I prefer Xander over the ladder. Or the, the other Wait, say, say again. I prefer Xander over the ladder. Than the other character. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I absolutely agree. I, I agree 100%. You know what? Because Xander's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Number one tip for those of us who act who are wanting to go into what you do. Like, what's the number one thing you would impart oh, us? Uh, um, you know, it's funny. I was with uh, uh, Josh Stewart, and I were, uh, he's an actor. Uh, uh, and we were in Detroit last week together, and we were in the panel together. And we got that question, and, and I think Josh's answer was, was the best. It's like, do not, do not conform. It's like, don't try to be an actor. It's like, be who you are, because yeah. you're unique. Don't like try to be, like, people are just trying to be like everybody else, and it's bullshit, you know? I, um, I think that's one of the reasons why I've worked, because I, 
you know, when I do stuff, like I, like I don't book as much as I would like to book, but when I do, it's, it seems to last a long time. You got a lot of actors who look a lot alike and who act a lot alike, and they book a lot of shows, but the shows don't particularly go anywhere. Yeah. Because people are fucking stupid, and they keep hiring them. <laughs> you know? And so it's just Josh's thing was, oh, be yourself. Don't conform. Yeah. Don't try to be anything that you're not, and have fun with it. Thank you. You're welcome. And, 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 and do not ever have sex for a part. <laughs> It's true. Oh, so you obviously oh. No, you actually have sex with the part. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, was only, that was only to her. So you have yeah, no, you know, you, you yeah, know. Yeah, Doug, you're, you're going to be on your knees. See you later. <laughs> For about six months. Yeah, come closer. Six months, and then, uh, then, then I'll think about it. Time to take this all for now, it'll work out. Uh, you obviously know the character Xander better than anybody, and uh, with you writing for season 10 now, mm -hmm. getting to write Xander's stories, how much control are you having, and... How much fun is it for his character to interact with Dracula again? Ah, Dracula. I just think it's amazing how 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 homoerotic it is. <laughs> and, and so, and that was one of the things I just wanted to make it more and more. I mean, there's just really, it's just how amazing, you know. And and they're, it's like they have, they really, they care for each other. You know, there really is like even when he's out of. You know, trying to make him jealous. And yeah, and and he, like even when he's not under his spell, they're still kind of like, it's my, it's Dracula. You know what I mean? So, but um, yeah, have you has anybody read the new one? Is it, is it good? Um, so yeah, no, I I, I have. I was super curious about how much how gleeful are you about getting that opportunity? Oh, it's great. It's you know, it's it, it's I I'm having a, I'm having a blast doing it, and it's nice to. To put words in Xander's mouth, and, and like and jokes, you know. It's, I was, it's talking with 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 with, uh, with uh, Christos, and I'm like, you know, Xander like likes to repeat himself, and he's like, I've never done that. It's like he's like like in writing at all. I'm like, yes, I'll take two of those two two of those, please. You know, I like this is a way of being uncomfortably uncomfortable. You know, kind of like, like the way Yoda talks. You know what I mean? It's just there's a particular way, and it's been a lot of fun. And then also like there's a the, it's cool. Cool stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you and very much. I'll see you later. But that's okay, absolutely. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I first have to say that I actually enjoyed Xander in season seven, um, probably the most, because there was such a um, transformation yeah. of your character, especially in season six. So I have to say you did a really great job. I do love funny Xander, but I love yeah. that seeing I think, you transition. I mean, you're right. I think I'm just being, uh, I'm being selfish. Because <laughs> being funny is fun. And I have two questions, actually. One of them was, were you ever scared shitless that Joss was going to kill you off? Because obviously he's very famous for doing that. And two was, um, two is, oh my god, I forgot the question. <laughs> mm. No, you didn't. It's right there. <laughs> What's your name? Alexandra. Alexandra. Look to your left, it's right there. Mm. Alexandra, I'm floating above your head. Did you ever think when, in the first season, I mean, it was... Kind of, I love the first season, but it was very low budget and very different from later seasons. Did you ever think it would be as big as it was and continue for so long and still have such a large fan base that it does now? No, I mean, I did not think about it. I didn't, none of this, how could anybody, I just, that was on my radar. I just was happy to have a job. I was, I was you know, exacting for a living. It's kind of, kind of crazy. Um, so no, I didn't even think about, which is probably why we were all so young and, and, and just naive to this whole process. Um, and it's right there, Nikki. What was the first question? Uh, now I forgot it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah no, no, no. We always know. Joss always said that the, 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 the three would never. Would never die. Sarah, yeah. Okay. Me, Ali, or Sarah. So that was I was, it was never, yeah. It is so funny doing panels with other actors, and they're like, um, they would just kind of thumb through. And to see if they were, if their name was, I'm like, I, I'm like, I never even, it's like that never, I'm like, oh, you poor white socks. Well, you were apparently Because I was just like, what are my jokes? What's happening? You know, not like, going to my face to make sure that I'm still there. Yeah, that's, that's not a way. That's, were you expecting the eyeball, losing the eyeball? No, and, and they didn't warn me either. <laughs> and I, didn't, I think at that point, it was, um, I never showed up to work drunk. But I was hungover from the night before, and I think that that was kind of Joss's way of of saying, 
you know, a little fuck you. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he had every right to it. I'm like, little bastard. And everything, and I'm like, what? And I had to read it again. I'm like, no! I think, too, that he knew that it was going to be, he was going to make a comic out of it. And, and it looks pretty awesome in an in a iPad. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I think, did I answer your question? Yes, thank okay. you so much. Three minutes! <laughs> Which means three questions. One, two, three. Who's your favorite Big Bad from the TV series? My favorite Big Bad. <laughs> Herman Munster. <laughs> <laughs> so Adam. <laughs> uh, I think the master was kind of just like my again, everything in season one, even though it wasn't the best. It was, I mean, I wish that I could kind of like infuse, just give you a little bit of what it was like for me in that first, th that first season. Everything was so magical, like, you know, like your first love, you know, like, it's, and it's spring and you smell flowers and it was just like, I wish everybody can experience that, that feeling of, of euphoria. So everything was just like, it was, yeah, so anything, like season one had no, we were, there, there were no egos. We were just all doing a job. And it was really wonderful. So anything in season one is gonna be, is gonna be my, my fave. So I'm gonna say the master. His little butt mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like that fucking him. You ever have hemorrhoids? <laughs> Me neither. But, I would assume that that's what it feels like. Like teeth inside of your anus. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I don't, I've never had a hemorrhoid. Have you had him right now? Okay. So I had a long question about the short and sweet with a classic. Boxers or briefs? Boxers or briefs? Um, okay, well here's the thing. I, it's, I, 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 it's, it's, I do a tight boxer. I do the Calvin Klein. So I guess that's a boxer. I can't do a loose boxer because then that shit, it piles up here. And then you're like, you know. It's just, 
There's nothing enjoyable about it. It's, it's not sexy, it's not fun. I, I heard stories that um, Andrew McCarthy, the old actor from the 80s, he would like stick his dick in people in sex scenes. Which is just a way to get killed, you know? <laughs> but that's what he would do. And there are actors that, that do do that. And uh, I, I don't, to me, that there's a certain amount of, 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 of like a psycho in there that, that can get off on that. Or even be hard in that particular. But it's, but he belongs to jail. It's where it's right <laughs> But it's just not, there's nothing really, really enjoyable about it at all. But still, well done. You know. Thank you very much. Top five. That's Thank you. Good. Because, because I'm what? I'm what? I can't hear you! Alright, let's do that. Come here, who's gonna dance with the, Where are you? Come here. Come on. By the way, thank you guys, you've been awesome. Mm-hmm. 